Wally here and I want to talk about another game from my gaming collection and as you can see it is Beach Spikers Virtua Beach Volleyball for the Nintendo GameCube made by Sega. I'm going to talk about my experiences with the game, why I got it and so forth and let's just jump right into it. Let's go all the way back to GameCube. I picked up the GameCube at launch. I remember standing in line like 6 in the morning at my Kmart, grabbed it and then had a blast at a lot of the launch titles but then when I was looking for something more action arcade sports oriented you know I'm not, I'm not a huge sports fan but there's something majestic about watching volleyball and seeing them volley that ball back and forth over and over again there's a lot of technique to it it's pretty neat i mean my mom was a huge fan of watching like the olympic volleyball teams every time that came around so when i saw this i'm like i'm a huge sega man i love gamecube uh it's exclusive and it's made by a good Sega team and it's an arcadey sports team. What's more to like? I mean, the kind of sports games that I grew up loving was more like the WWE Nintendo 64 games, which were just simple couple button presses, holding buttons, and that's what this Beach Spikers has to offer. It's like a two on two uh, volleyball game and you have many different teams from around the world. There's a little bit of customization elements. There's a, a main mode where you're going through and fighting or fighting, battling other teams in order to become number one. And it gets more challenging and progressively difficult. And Brazil's team is so difficult to fight in this game. Like, man, Brazil, why are you so tough? Uh, I don't know. I think I usually would be either like Canada, USA or Japan. Those three teams seem pretty cool, seem pretty legit. Got the job done. Uh, controls, I think, were, were pretty simple. I like the GameCube controller if you had the huge A in the middle. And you would just have a bar on the right of the screen to, you know, to serve. You have different kind of spikes, uh, different kind of moves that you can do. Um, and it was just a good arcade experience because it didn't require knowing a lot of different movesets, but it was challenging. And you, there was strategy kind of like positioning where your character was on your side and then trying to predict what the opponent would do, whether you're playing with, uh, you know, a real life person, because this is multiplayer or against the computer. And it could get really challenging, be like, should you get closer to the net? You know, should you get farther away from the net? What kind of move should you do? Where should you hit the ball? So there's like second to second decision making that you had to do and the controls are really precise and the gaming controller just felt so well with this kind of experience. And being just a huge arcade uh, fan, like I mentioned probably a million times already, but just it cannot be overstated that the controls work so well with this 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 game and how it was executed uh, was done really really well at the time a lot of other people you know the xbox came out and they had there was like a dead or alive beach volleyball that kind of went after uh you know hormonal teens and then like this was the the less sexualized of the games of the two games and because this game really wanted to be a game this game really wanted to put you know the arcade kind of gameplay first uh, evolve over, you know, like uh, aesthetics or trying to go after a certain uh, demographic. So that, you know, I was always happy with this purchase. And uh, I, I think I finally beat, you know, Team Brazil and the hardest teams available in this game. But uh, I'm not sure. I would have to go check out my save file. I believe I still have it. You know, Sega was giving a lot of support to the, the Nintendo and GameCube after they stopped producing, you know, hardware and became a software manufacturer. And it was really cool to see an exclusive game like this come out on the Nintendo GameCube. That wasn't just Sonic the Hedgehog, and although those were, you know, ported and, and brought over and created for GameCube, having Beat Spikers, uh, arcade, pick up and play experience for the entire family, and I think it's, yeah, it's four players. Uh, I can't really see it because I did take this, some of my games back in the day, out of their original cases and put them in these colored slim cases in order to match you know whatever it is it was blue or like the, it's it's orange and blue so it's an orange case that was pretty cool slim case right there here's the what's it called the manual still have it and the the disc is pretty neat i do say so it's blue and orange i don't know maybe we'll take a look at the the manual real quick usually i don't do this but you know it's a black and white manual it's pr pretty cool i love how slim they were in order to fit the the gamecube cases very unique indeed I'm going to see if I can quickly find the controls, uh, even though it does not really say anything right there. But yeah, serving, just 
A button, B button, A plus B button. It's like, that's really cool. I really love, I love that. But as you can see, there's so many different kind of commands that you have to do. Attacking, blocking, receiving, tossing. Like, it goes on and on. Team play match, different game styles, like arcade, world tour, versus. Uh, I'm getting so excited thinking about all the time I spent back in the day. And I can't believe I have to say back in the day now, because it's like almost going on 20 years since the GameCube launch. But I have, you know, all those memories of, of playing this. And yeah, like always, every single time I do one of these videos, I always get excited about wanting to replay the game that I'm talking about. And today it's Beach Spikers. And uh, I hope you experienced this game when it came out. If not, I still recommend it to this day. Don't know if you can pick it up uh, somewhere used online, but you should if you are into arcade games, volleyball games. Not a lot of these come out, I don't think. So yeah, I really enjoyed Beach Spikers. Glad I still have it in my collection. I didn't get rid of it. Let me know what you think about Beach Spikers in the comments. Did you pick it up? Did you play it? Did you have it? Do you like it? Do you want it? Let me know all about Beach Spikers and your volleyball addiction if you have one in the comments. I would love to read all about it. As always, thanks for joining the party. Thanks for listening to me ramble. And I'll see you in my next exciting collection video.